Stand stay. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job, girl. Good job. Today is Jeff Scanina's birthday. He's 45, just about seven in dog years. It's an age which makes people wonder if an old dog can learn a new trick. Former teammates and former coaches are like, you're showing dogs now? You went from playing this macho football game to showing dogs, really? You know, they can't believe it, but they want to come see and get their laughter. But I think once they see it, they realize there's more to it than just prancing around with a dog. Scanina was the ultimate NFL underdog. In 1993, the Steelers took him as a long snapper in the seventh round of the draft, and he beat long odds to last a long time in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of the defensive line. I wasn't the best athlete. I would have been told too small, too slow, too short, whatever, you know. So that was always the thing to push me even harder. I always would gravitate towards older guys for some reason. If I always thought if they could last that long, they did something right. So why can't, why, I should probably be more like them. So it all comes down to this. Six seconds to play. Scanina went from underdog to top dog battling 17-year veteran and future Hall of Famer Bruce Matthews in Super Bowl 34. Reaches to the goal line. No, the Super season ends with a Super Bowl victory for the Rams. Wow, world champion. That's one thing that nobody can take away from me. It's really cool to have that ring. This is fabulous. Oh, good for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Scanina lasted 17 years playing for seven different teams. I love making grown men look silly. I love that. As an assistant defensive line coach for the Texans, Scanina taught some of the NFL's most promising young pups. And when he left coaching, he gave in to his family's most dogged request. My kids wanted a dog for, oh my God, three, four years now. And I always said, no pets. I've never had a pet. Well, I had a parakeet when I was younger and a goldfish, but, you know, like with the goldfish, I tried petting it a few times, and the next thing you know, it bellied up and was floating because I took it out of the water too much. One day, I came walking through the TV area, and they're watching Dogs 101. They could do every Saturday. They're showcasing the Neapolitan Mastiff. I said, if we ever get a dog, that's the dog we're getting. Big family dogs, pretty much lazy dogs, don't really shed a lot, not a lot of maintenance. I'm thinking, perfect. Called the breeder. She starts talking about, well, you can buy it as a pet or a show breed dog. Come here, buddy. What's the show breed dog thing about? It's competition, right? She goes, yeah, you compete. I said, okay, that's what I want. That's always been my drug of choice, was that competitive fix. Here we go. Okay, you start. 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 He basically started absolutely zero, and that's kind of like where I started in the NFL. My first show, I go out there and it's a train wreck. He doesn't want to do it. I have no clue what I'm doing. That's when I it snapped in my head, and I got really competitive fast. And I said to myself, I'm going to figure this out, and I'm going to win. Like in his football days, Scanina hangs with the veterans to pick up tricks of the dog handling trade. He'll even show their dogs when they have too many. For me, it's about getting more comfortable in the ring. Oh, there's a chicken. Oh, there's a chicken. For the handlers, they don't have to hire somebody else to show the dog, because they know I'll do it for free. Tony, he's another Neo person, keeps throwing me into the mix with other dogs. Good job, Squishy. Good job, Squishy. Good job, Squishy. Good job, Squish. Squishy decided to lay some squish on the ground. Squish word, squishy, squishy. Oh. Illegal procedure. Squishy. 
Good job, Squishy. I'm just glad Tony cleaned it up. Oh, you need more than that, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get a snow shovel. Come on, Nook. Finally, it's time for Skunina to show his dog. Oh. As Nook emerges, so does Jeff's game face. And in the dog show world, that's not a good thing. Anytime I can step in that ring, you know, it's like going back on that football field to me. The more tense you get, the more your dog's gonna feel it. I always hate it to be coached by someone like that. And Nook's the player and I'm the coach out there basically. It's an issue I have, but I'm getting better at it. Let's joke around, let's have a good time, let's go have fun. Stay. 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 Step forward. Come here, bud. What's your problem, bud? Come on, buddy. It's okay, here. You're okay. He did good. I mean, he did better. Go, buddy. Here we go, Nookster. Here we go, come on. He's never gonna be the greatest show dog, and I know that, and I understand that. All in all, I thought he did well. We got Rob, Nook. Thank you. Have a great day. The NFL is the gold Super Bowl, right? Eventually, I will have very well-trained dogs, and I will polish up my handling skills, and I'm going to be able to walk into any ring with any dog and beat everybody in there. Portrait of an old dog on his birthday. He's found a new calling and new two-legged friends, all thanks to a big four-legged one. I bought him as a pet. Now eventually, he will be not showing anymore. I'm gonna get more Neos. He's gonna be the, my travel dog. He's gonna be the guy sitting in the back seat, hanging out with me. Okay, ready? The phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, I think is completely ridiculous. I think you can. Once you stop learning, it's over. <laughs>